Now more than a year into Russia's brutal invasion, supporters of Ukraine rallied in cities across the U.S. this weekend. Ukraine's southern port city of Odessa honored soldiers killed in the grinding war with Russia. Ukrainian military drone footage shows what are said to be Russian tanks and other armored fighting vehicles being blown up by mines. I think Putin is uh, right now entirely too confident of his ability to wear down um, Ukraine, to grind away, and that's what he's giving every evidence that he's determined to do right now. Meanwhile, Washington is growing increasingly concerned that China could decide to send lethal military aid to Russia. We will continue to send a strong message that we believe that sending military aid to Russia at this time when they are using their weapons to bombard cities, kill civilians, and commit atrocities would be a bad mistake and China should want no part of it. Last week, the U.S. announced billions of dollars in additional military assistance to Ukraine. But some lawmakers are urging the Biden administration to provide Ukraine with F-16 fighter jets. This whole thing is taking too long. And it really didn't have to happen this way. Following his unannounced visit to Kiev last week, President Biden said in a television interview that sending F-16s is off the table for now. But he didn't rule that out for later. Cristian Benavides, CBS News.